Okay guys, in this fun video, today we're going to be talking about how to get lost. And we're going to be featuring how to survive. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so for tip number one is going to be don't tell. This is the number one tip on how to get lost in the woods and not get found is don't tell anyone, especially not on social medias or any of your personal friends or family where you're going when you're going or how long you will be gone this is the best way to get lost because no one will know where to look for you when or how long is too long or when they should start looking for you number two is go alone this is a the, one of the better strategies because obviously if you're trying to get lost you won't have to deal with another person you won't have to deal with anyone trying to you know drag you back or you won't have to worry about anyone running back into civilization telling people where you are stuff like that if you go alone once again no one will have any idea of where you're at so tip number three is don't carry a map this way you will have no idea where you're at either so that way the people looking for you won't be looking for you and they won't know where you're at and you won't know where you're at it's a great idea <laughs> number four is misjudge your terrain and basically what i mean by this is is as you guys can see especially around here there's a lot of terrain there's slipping points there's parts where you could fall there's parts where you could go and not get back up out of that kind of thing definitely you want to misjudge your terrain this way you won't have an idea of where you're at personally in this area you also stand a higher chance of injuring yourself and if you're injured it makes getting lost so much easier because then you're in a place and you don't have high mobility so this next one is that we all basically start out on trails that's basically how we get into the middle of nowhere is through the use of trails and this next tip is tip number five is the don't use trail markers don't keep track of where you're going just go out leaving no markers no indication of where you've been or how to get back out don't leave any indication of where you've been just go out number six kind of plays off number five and that is get stressed and lose your bearings this is pretty easy to do if you find yourself getting lost you want to get yourself very stressed out you want to start worrying where am i where have i gone you know i'm in the middle of nowhere this way the stress and the fear that feeds off of your stress will drive you further into the woods and further from civilization this is really one of the better tips okay tip number eight so this one is don't dress correctly one of the best ways to force yourself into a survival situation and furthering getting lost is to not dress properly for the elements around you as you can see there's snow all around me so in this type of scenario you would not want gloves you wouldn't want long pants you wouldn't want stuff that would shelter you from the snow rather you'd want stuff that would help expose you to the snow number eight Sorry, I think I got these two mixed up, but number eight is don't carry a survival kit or any survival supplies whatsoever. This will once again help with your survival and getting lost because you won't have any way of, you know, like pulling out a compass, getting your bearings. You won't have any useful survival equipment to start fires, which will force you into even worse situation of being lost because now you'll have no way of long-term survival right. number nine like that <laughs> number nine is forget about gps's gps's are too much like compasses and they're too much like a map these things are the bane of your existence you don't want to trust them don't carry them number 10 is don't carry any firearms once again, if you are wanting to get yourself lost, carrying a firearm is a horrible decision because one, what firearms allow when you're, they're discharged, they're very loud, especially out here in the woods when noise already radiates so well. When you fire off a firearm, that noise is much louder. It can go up to a mile, if not two miles, to the right ears. So when you fire off a firearm, that has too high of a chance of signaling rescue and it also is another survival tool that you should not have because you're trying to get lost not get found 
Okay guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this kind of comical look at my top 10 ways of getting lost. Now, getting to the reality of this actual video, I did these 10 tips because I've studied a lot of survival situations where people went out and they got lost or they died because they got lost or they were found but they still got lost and the general point or tips to each one of those situations the rules that they followed most if not all of these tips were broken in their situations of getting lost and essentially I gave these tips because you should do the exact opposite. In each and every situation, you should have all of these or have done these different things to prepare yourself for the event if you do get lost. Now, even experienced woodsmen, I have friends who have gone out into the woods and have actually gotten lost. However, once again, their difference in their survival depended on the fact that they did have survival kits, they had firearms, they had the proper dress on to be out there for an extended period of time. And so this is what I was going back to is should you do get lost in all reality, having these different tips and having this communication with people that you know can actually end up coming back to save your butt. Once again, I'm gonna, not going to say that every single time you go out into the woods, you need to meet all 10 of these tips, because as you can see, I'm alone here, but I have a lot of other things checked off my list, such as a firearm, such as a survival kit, such as a really nice you know, bushcrafting knife. I have all these different things checked off on this list so that in the event I do go missing or I do get lost, that I will know how to get out of it and if not i'll have people looking for me so these are the important tips that i wanted to share with you guys on survival and getting lost because the most important thing is when you do get lost is surviving that so anyways guys that's all for now god bless and i'm out and don't forget to enjoy the beautiful scenery in this video thanks